So Matt Renshaw, welcome back to the Cooper Associates County Ground. Very happy to be here. Tell us a little bit about what you've been up to since that first stint here at Somerset. Yeah, it's um, it's been a, a long four years, I'd say. Had a had a year at um, at Kent, and then um, just at home and and playing some shield cricket um, with Queensland, and last year playing um, some Aussie A games as well. So yeah, it's been been a long ride, been a lot of ups and downs in the last four years, but yeah, really happy to be back and, and playing for Somerset. Was it something that you always wanted to do coming back to Somerset? Yeah, definitely. I um, had such a great connection with the boys and the club and, and the fans out here while I was here four years ago and it's sort of just been trying to trying to get back to, one, be able to um, get signed and also playing well enough to feel like I can contribute over here. I think a couple of years of, of tough cricket for me um, personally, but yeah, I feel like I'm back to, to where I need to be. You sort of made a fairly explosive introduction to, to the Somerset faithful when you were here last time. Is your game similar or have you adapted it slightly? Um, yeah, I feel like I've adapted a lot more. I think that was sort of, I was in a, a rich, rain, rich vein of form at the time and I just felt like I'd come out and, and sort of go really hard. So, um, yeah, fairly different player now. I feel like I can adapt to a lot more situations a bit better. But, yeah, it's, it's uh, County Cricket in April, so you just got to be ready to adapt. Obviously, some familiar faces in the dressing room and, and some new lads as well. What's it been like stepping back in there? Yeah, it's been um, great. Back straight in my back corner. A um, few young guys who were sort of around the second level uh, academy traps when I was sort of coming through. And obviously, as a, a cricket nuffy, I've, I've watched a lot over the last four years and, and watched a few guys come come through. I really like the look of Tom Lambie. Um, like watching him bat. And hopefully, we can put on a few runs this season. Obviously, the ground has changed a little bit since you were last here. New stands and, and new floodlights, but it's still quintessentially a lovely cricket ground, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I'm really excited to come out here and play in front of the crowd. That's one of the big things I remember from my time here last time was the crowd. It was so so passionate. Everyone was so loud, and it was it was amazing to to be welcomed as as well as I was. Um, so yeah, really excited to be that. Um, yeah, I think the only change now is the lights and the just Gothic's got his new pavilion now. So. <laughs> I sent him a message about that and, um, yeah, he was really excited. Also a familiar face in the dressing room, Peter Siddle, a player you know a lot about. Yeah, played a, a couple of years at him, with him at the Adelaide Strikers. Um, played against him a little bit back in the day as well and it was always a fun battle and I'm, I'm very glad that he's on my team, especially April. Um, he's a beautiful bowler and he just keeps getting better with age, so really excited that we can be playing together in some Red Bull cricket and, and the knowledge and experience he brings to this Somerset side is valuable. Obviously, you managed to get back into the the Australian uh, one-day setup. What did that mean to you? Yeah, it was sort of um, a bit last minute, and um, yeah, just had to go over to Pakistan and, and try and um, help out around the group. But yeah, nice to be in that group and and probably the Red Bull group um, a bit closer to where I was in the last couple of years as well. So nice to be back in there and just runs for for Somerset will will help the cause. What's going to be success for for Matt Renshaw at Somerset this year? Uh, wins. Uh, at the end of the day, you can score as many r individual runs as you can, but is, as long as the team's winning, that's the, the main thing for me. If I get a duck and the team wins, then I've probably done something well because someone else has got runs um, and I've let them get in quicker. But, yeah, for, for me, wins is always the big one. I mean, we obviously, every year, the storyline comes out about the county championship and, and that sort of thing. So if I can somewhat help us to, to try and win the, the county championship, that's that's the main goal for, for everyone in the group. A um, little bit rocky start last week, but I think this week we'll come back a few different faces in the team, a few sort of senior guys coming back in. Um, but yeah, that, we're, we all want to try and win and, and, and we hopefully we have all the support in the crowd.